Hello everyone, in this video we will learn to create invoice design in the markbooks and through this you can design invoice as you like to. In markbooks you can design invoices by simply dragging and dropping. So as you will see on screen, this is a sample invoice and invoice is basically divided into three parts like header, item and grand total. So now let's design a full page invoice like this in the markbooks. So for this you will go to utilities and tools then to invoice design. Then select that type of module from the report type for which you want to design the invoice. As we select the sale bill and from the report click on create new. Then whatever report name you want to give you can mention and save it. So in this way a window of Marg Online Designer will open. You will get the ribbon at the top and here are the different tabs like home, report, layout etc. And you will get different options in every tab to which you can use at the time of designing invoice according to your requirement. And this is the form means this is the area where you will design. Then you will get an icon of properties at the left side from which you can change the properties of an invoice. Then the next icon is report tree and from here you can see which command has been applied in which section. After this the next icon is data. We will click on plus icon here from the left side of data sources. So here you will get different options like company data. With this you can add commands related to the company on the invoice. From party data you can add commands related to the party on the invoice. From header data you can add these fields at the top of the header of the invoice. That is invoice number, invoice date, salesman name etc. From items data, you can add fields related to items like item name, HSN code, batch number, expiry date, etc. From footer data, you can add fields like subtotal, discount, IGST, CGST, total quantity, etc. on footer, means at the bottom. Similarly, here is additional detail, payment detail, outstanding data and tax summary data. So, as now we will see here in sample invoice that heading is sale bill. So to type the text, you will go to components, then click and drag the text on the form report title 1 and drop in this area. Then double click on this, type sale bill here and do ok. Now you can set the text wherever you want. You can move with the help of mouse also and you can also move with the keyboard arrow keys left, right, up, down. Apart from it, if you want to move this slightly left, right, top or bottom, then you can use Ctrl plus Alt plus arrow keys. And along with it, an icon of I is given above. You can see shortcut keys by clicking on it. After this, you will click on the home tab, do bold from here, select the font size. You can resize it by clicking on this red dot. Then you will see there is a box in the background. Then you will go again to components. Click on shape. So in this way, the shape will be inserted. You will resize it by clicking on this red dot. And now you will go to properties to fill color in this box. Then by clicking on color from fill, select the color. After this, give a border like this on the header. So simply go to the home tab, then click on all border lines. And now to see its preview, you will go to report, then click on preview. So in this way, you can see its preview side by side. After this, you will insert company details commands. Then for this, you will go to the data source, then bring name on form from company data. For this, simply you will drag the name from here and drop in the form. You can move this command with the help of mouse or from left, right, up, down arrow keys. Apart from it, by using shift plus control plus arrow keys to move the command slightly. You can resize it by clicking on this red dot. After this, drag and drop company address 1 and company address 2 commands. You can set as you want to set them. Then similarly, we'll bring the company phone number email address here. Now as you will see in the sample invoice that text is written in front of the phone number and email id. So drop the text on form from components and type text and then set this text in front of the command of phone and email id. So in this way whatever details of the company you want to keep in the invoice drag and drop that command here. Now we will see its preview. You will see preview of company details have been shown here. After this, you will see in the sample invoice, company details are bold and color of email id is blue. So by clicking and selecting here on fields one by one, do bold them. And by selecting the company name, command, increase its size. We have increased the font size of these commands here. 
So as you like to do formatting, you can do it. Then we'll change the color of the email ID for which we will select the command. Then go to properties and select the color from text fill. Now we will see its preview. So we can see company details have come in a good way and you will save them side by side. Then now we will add the party details here. We will go to the data source then click on plus icon to expand the party data. And here we will drag the party name command. So whatever party details you want on the invoice you can set them here. And you can do formatting accordingly. After this now add the commands of GST number, invoice number, date on the form. And you will add these commands in the report title 1 section only. So firstly we will type text GSTIN then from company data insert the GST number command. Then we'll type the text invoice number and from header data insert the invoice number command and insert the invoice date command. Then insert shape here, go to properties and select color from fill. And now you will see the box has come above the text. So you will click right on this box and send it back from here. So text will get back to the text. In properties from layout you can set height and width of the box accordingly. After this, you will select the report title 1 section and from the home tab, we will click on all border lines to apply the border in report title 1. Then we will see preview. Now the party details which are shown here in the preview is for the preview purpose only. So that you will get to know that how the party details will be shown. When you will see the preview of the sale bill, details of the party will be shown to you properly. So now you will see header part is designed. If you want, then you can rename these sections. Like we'll rename report title 1 from header. You will simply select report title 1 and type header here. We'll do item headings to page header. We'll do items data to data 1. And we'll do a footer to report summary. And do right click on page footer 1 and delete it. So in this way, you can rename these sections accordingly. Now we will design the item part. So for this, Firstly, you will insert shape, then fill color. Then we'll type this text, serial number, quantity, product, etc. And after this, insert vertical lines like this. You will drag the line in the form from the component and from this red dot, do it. And then set it according to your invoice. And you will take care of this thing at the time of invoice designing that after the work is done in the particular section, you will drag this bar above so that the gap between the sections shouldn't be shown. After this, then from items data, insert these commands, serial number, quantity, product, etc. on items data section and set column wise. And then insert vertical lines. And by selecting the items data section, apply the border. Now we will see its preview. Now you will see product name, batch, expiry. HSN is not completed here. Because you will see we have shrunk these commands here and if you resize it, it will overlap on the second command. So as we select here an item name command, then we will go to properties and here in behavior, click on the auto width checkbox. So now what will happen with the auto width command, that if the item name command is shrunk, then at the time of preview, the full name of the item will be shown to you. Similarly, by selecting batch, expiry, HSN commands, we will also take the auto width checkbox. And you can apply auto width on any command according to your requirement. Now we will see its preview and you will see that now the data is showing properly. After this, we will go to a sample invoice. So you will see here alignment of quantity, product, batch, expiry and HSN alignment is on the left and alignment of rate, discount and amount is at right. So you will select here the command and will align them left from the home tab. And in the same way, we will do the alignment of rate, discount and amount in right. So in this way, you will set the alignment. After this, we will design the footer part. So firstly, we will insert a box like this. And here, by typing this subtotal text, we will put the command of subtotal. So for the command of subtotal, you will go to footer data and put the subtotal command from here. Here we have done the alignment of command in right and also by selecting the command we have done tick in the auto width checkbox. After this now the terms and conditions will come. For terms and conditions we will drag terms and conditions on form from the footer data. Then you will see the amount is written in words. So firstly we will write here rupees and will drag the total amount in words command on the form. And then we'll drag the commands of bill discount, SGST, CGST round off on the form. 
simply type the text grand total and drag the grand total command on form and then apply border at the footer now we will see the preview and now you can see that invoice design is done so friends in this way by dragging and dropping in the mark box you can design the invoice thanks for watching